continue with continuous random variables part 3 then we have the learning outcomes then for this one is actually the exercise that we've given from the previous video question a and b so how to show that a equals to 2 over 9 and then find the probability and lastly we're going to find the mode so first thing first is to define the absolute value sign here we have the negative for x less than 3 and then positive sign for x more than equals to 3 so we're going to separate based on the interval here here we have 0 until 2 and then 2 until 3 lastly we have 3 until 5 so for 0 until 2 we have here a and then 2 until 3 we have the negative function and then lastly from 3 until 5 we have the positive function right so to find the value of a we are going to integrate all separately with different function here because we have like from 2 until 0 until 2 the function is a and then continue with 2 until 3 the functions with the negative sign there and then 3 until 5 the function is the positive sign of a must be equals to 1 total probability equals to 1 so we integrate then we are going to get we are going to get to substitute the values then we have a equals to 2 over 9 then we get to show that one okay Now we are going to find the probability from 0 until 3. We are going to separate 0 to 2 because that is actually a different function and then 2 until 3 here. So we do it separately like this. Then we integrate. Next we are going to substitute the values. Here is x so we substitute 2 there minus 0 minus with Then this will be and we calculate the value we will get five over nine. Next Next, we're going to find the probability with the absolute value sign. So, we define the absolute value. Here, we have less than. So, less than the other side, the left side, we have the negative 2. Right? Here, we are going to move this one to the left and right. So, we will have 1 until 5. Integrate 1 until 5. So, we do it for different function. 1, 2, 2. And then, 2 until Three, lastly, three until five. Right? So you do it one by one, and then integrate. Sub. Then we substitute the values. We calculate. Then we're going to get seven over nine. Next, we're going to find the mode. So we substitute x equals to five will gives us the highest probability that means when x equals to 5 so that is the mode because it will give the value with the highest probability because if we look at the graph if we substitute 2 and then 3 and then 5 5 will give us the highest probability okay so the mode is actually 5 this is the exercise question that you can try and this is the answer. Thank you.